Hello, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. Now you've probably come across this video because your WordPress website is running a bit slow. As you're probably aware, this is a really bad thing because not only does it annoy visitors when they come to your website and they're you know waiting around for pages to load and all that sort of stuff, but it also upsets the search engines like Google and Bing and all the other ones, uh, which means that you lose rankings on them as well. So having a fast site is a good thing. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through a few ideas on how you can achieve that. Let's get on the computer and get started. So the website I'm looking to speed up today is this one here. It's called uh, 2015demo.wpeagle.com and it's a website that I made in one of my tutorial videos a little while back. Um, it uses a premium WordPress theme and it looks really nice but it does include some big images and, and bits and bobs and it'd be good to get it running really fast. I'm not saying that it's particularly slow now but obviously the faster the better. So to find out exactly how fast it is, I'm gonna use a free tool which is available from Google. I'm just gonna do a Google search now for page speed, which is what it's called. And this tool basically um, scans your website and lets you know how you can make it faster and what's slowing it down. So I'm just gonna copy and paste my URL in here. So you can type it in if you're not as lazy as me. <laughs> and it's gonna do a quick analysis of the website. And we've got a speed of 31 on the mobile and a speed of 38 on the desktop. And here's all the things that we can do to speed it up. So things like enable compression, minify JavaScript, um, reduce server response time, which is actually quite difficult to do because that's down to the hosting. But all these other things we could do um, by way of a plugin. So the plugin I'm gonna recommend is a plugin called WP Fastest Cache and Basically what that does is it does a lot of these things. It um, enables compression, but it also creates static pages of your WordPress content. So uh, at the moment, as WordPress comes, when people visit your website and a page loads up, that site has to be generated by the server each time. If you use a caching plugin, it creates basically a static copy of that page, which is much quicker to load, doesn't involve um, the server having to build it, and generally makes things faster. So let's go and install it. Um, I'm logged into the website, so I'm gonna go into the dashboard. And I'm gonna to go to add new. And it's called WP Fastest Cache. Now there are a number of different uh, caching plugins and speed up type plugins available for WordPress. I've tested a lot of them out and some of them are good. Um, some of them are really complicated in terms of there's lots of options. If you check out things like W3 uh, Total Cache, that one's really complicated. Uh, I like this one because it's quite easy to set up and you get a good performance boost. So that's installed. Uh, there's the little uh, leopard up there, which is what you use to delete the cache. So whenever you make a change or install something new, it's a good idea to delete the cache. You won't need to do it too often. To find the options are down here uh, on the left hand side. Again, look out for the um, leopard. And here's the options. So the first one you obviously need to enable it. Um, you can turn off the cache for logged in users if you want. You can turn off the cache for mobile users. I'll leave those both unticked. You can make sure the cache clears when you add a new post, which is handy. You can uh, minify the HTML. Now there are a few premium features which you can't select. Um, which are available if you buy the premium plugin, which I would um, I would recommend uh, if you want to really speed up the spot site uh, the speed of your website. Uh, but for now, obviously, this is the free one. I'm going to tick these other two as well: gzip and browser caching. Now, with browser caching, it's going to depend on um, your server. So if you get some kind of error, uh, you need to follow this. But on my hosting, I don't tend to get an error with that, so it's it's all good. And I'm with TSO Host. Um, okay, and if you want to sign up with them, there's a discount code WP Eagle, <laughs> but it's up to you. Hopefully you've got a nice fast host um, and everything will work fine. Okay, so that's all done. Let's go back to the website and have a look. And the website all seems okay. Let's run the Google page speed again. Um, so remember we were on about 31 mobile and 36, 37 desktop, was it? Something like that. And we basically want to get out of the red and into the uh, orange or into the green, ideally. So we've already gone up a bit. Look, we've uh, increased to 
55 and on the desktop we're up to 41. Um, what I'm just going to actually do is just clear the cache on the back end here just to make sure that the, the plugin has kicked in correctly. And there's a few other things that it's going to suggest here, like optimizing images, um, which you can do with the premium plugin. Uh, again, as I mentioned, the premium version of the plugin, uh, if you really want to get your website speaking. So I'm just going to analyze this again. We're up to 55 on the mobile and 73 on the desktop. Now, another way we can get a bit more speed out of it is to uh, find out if there's any plugins or anything that might be slowing our website down. And to do that, I'm actually going to install another plugin. And if you go to Add New, it's called P3 Plugin Performance Profiler. If we install that, basically that goes through your um, plugins that you've got installed and lets you know if they're you know, slowing the site down and then you can obviously decide if you want to get rid of them or, or whatever. So I'm just going to activate the plugin. And here we go, it's all there. And if we click scan now, it tells me we've got 15 plugins active and I'm going to just click start scan and then auto scan and leave it scanning. Okay, so the scan is complete. Let's click view results. And I can see here that this big chunk here, this WooCommerce is really slowing down my site. Um, this site is not actually an e-commerce site, so it doesn't really need WooCommerce. So I think I'll turn that off. Um, everything else is kind of lumped together there. Clef is also taking up a bit of time. So you can click through here and get like a detailed um, breakdown and graphs and, and all sorts of things. As long as you don't mess them up like I just did. There is graphs. Um, you get a timeline so you can see what's going on in terms of if it's, if it's the theme, theme looks good. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off WooCommerce and Clef and just see what difference that makes. So I can do that in plugins, install plugins. Deactivate. So yeah, that P3 is really useful if you have got a slow site, especially if maybe you've got a slow back end, which I've found sometimes if you install too many plugins and yeah, you need to identify which one is, is slowing things down and get rid of it, unless it's really important, in which case maybe find an alternative. Okay, so those two are off. Let's run our um, page speed again and just see. Notifications popping up, sorry about that. So it's 52 on there, 74 on there. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go and purchase this plugin. Uh, obviously, this is totally optional, and you probably should be happy with these kind of scores. They're, you know, in no means bad. But I'm going to see if the premium version, just for your benefit, really, um, gives you um, any extra speed. So let's buy it now. Okay, so I've installed the premium version of the plugin. It's basically just a little extra plugin that goes alongside the free plugin, and then you get all the options available for you. So um, let's go back through and tick these. I'm going to tick that one. I'm going to tick that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. These all look good. Combine, minify, gzip, and browser caching. Basically, everything apart from the um, logged in user thing. And the mobile one. Um, so that's all done. Let's see if we've got any increase in speed. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go across to the image optimization and just click optimize all JPEG. It's going to take a few seconds, minutes, maybe hours. Let's see. Okay, so it's all done. It did take a little while, um, but obviously it depends on how many images you've got and how big they are. Um, let's run the uh, page speed test again and see um, what score we get. We're around 70 last time on the desktop. Um, so let's see if we've got any extra points by using the premium plugin and by optimizing the images. So the mobile has gone up to 66, which is fine. Um, there's a few other little bits and bobs, but they're not big. They're only like a couple of things not to worry about. Uh, desktop has now gone green, 85. 
Um, so that's good. There's still this problem here, which I think is caused by a couple of um, scripts. I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, but yeah, if you're in the green, you don't really need to worry too much. 85 is a really good score. Obviously that could probably be improved um, with even faster hosting or whatnot. Anyway, I hope you found that video useful. I hope you've been able to increase the speed of your website um, by following these tips. Uh, if you've got any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, please click the like button. For more WordPress stuff and internet related videos, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.